Hey everyone, it's Suzanne. I'm back again with another video and this video today is just another color collection and today the color we are look, going to be looking at is orange. So today I'm going to show you all my orange polishes that I own and if we have any that we can pull to do comparisons of later, we will try to find them and pull them. So my oranges, I don't have a whole lot I don't uh, they share a drawer in my helmer with the nudes and they're not even completely filled up on their side so I don't have a whole lot of oranges but let's just get right into it so the, let's look at the first ones these are all ones that I have worn um, since I have um, since I've been going back through my collection I always try to I try to wear my whole entire collection once before I wear a polish a second time but there are certain ones that come into my brain and I think about them and I'll wear them a second time or if I need a color that I've already worn to match a mani I will pull it again but I do try to go through my collection so these first ones are ones that I have worn the first one is from Fair Maiden and this is Mango Sorbet and it's just a a really pretty like mangoey orangey cream color super pretty and then next up i have one from emily damali and this is getting darker and this is just um it's kind of like a pumpkin-y uh spice uh reflective glitter polish i have worn this one of my sons picked this out for me for um, a christmas present it's not my favorite color um honestly and i probably would get rid of it but since it was a present from my sons i can't do that so um it will stay in the collection but i have worn it it's very pretty i just um i'm not really a fan of pumpkin orangey colors and i'm not a fan of huge reflective glitters like that anymore i don't mind reflective glitters when they're like sparse but when the whole polish is reflective glitter i just don't love those anymore for whatever reason next up i have one from moon cat and this is strange berry and this actually is kind of like a pinkish orangey color so it probably would fit better in my pink drawer, but I have more room in my orange drawer. So whenever a color could go either way, I always put it in the drawer where I have more room. Because like I said, this is kind of, um, in the bottle, it definitely looks pink. On your nails, it kind of looks more orangey, if I remember right. And it has like gold flakies. It's super pretty. Um, this came in their, I cannot think, kaleidoscope collection. And I love that collection. It's kind of like jellies. So they need to be built up. But they're super bright. Super pretty. Um, I love that polish. And then next up. I have one from Restored by Polish. And this is Righteous, Righteous Orange. And this is just a bright neon orange. I may wind up having some more bright neon oranges. So we might be comparing some of these. So I'll keep that one kind of to the side. And then I also have this one from Static Lacquer, and this is the Afterglow. And I did wear this one in like a Skittle, and it's kind of like a lighter orange. Um, I was on the fence about keeping this one. I did wind up keeping it, but now I'm thinking maybe I could get rid of it. I don't know. So I'm going to pull that one out separately too. Okay, so these are in no particular order. All the rest of these that I'm showing you, I have not worn yet so let's just look at those so the first one i have up is from louise and this is radiant and this is a polish i got in a mystery and i've never heard of this brand until i got it in that mystery and it's just a really bright um orange with like shimmer and there's like flakies in there i think you can kind of see it really super pretty i just i remember thinking this was super pretty so i'm excited to wear that one i haven't worn it yet and then Next up, I have one from Sinful Colors, and this is Hit the Spot, and this is just basically kind of like an orange mango cream. Um, it's definitely different than the Fair Maiden. It's quite a bit brighter, because as you can see, the Fair Maiden is more, this is more mango with the yellowish orange, and this is more like orange orange. Um, so... I haven't worn that one, but I did get this one at Walmart. Super cute polish. 
and then next up i have one from atomic polish and this is their pastel neon orange i wound up purchasing this whole collection um of these pastel neons so it's definitely different like than you know the one from restored by polish because this is more pastel and this is more bright like traffic cone i like the more traffic cone one myself but um I love these pastels from, and the color's not coming off accurate on camera. It's looking more yellow on camera, but it's actually more like this color that's around the rim here. If you can see that, that's actually what the polish looks like. That's weird. I guess it's just my light is too bright down on it, but I wound up really liking that pastel collection, and I wanted to um, get it. So next up, we have one from Rogue Lacquer, and this is called Everything is Fine, and this is their Hot Mess Express collection. And see, it's different, too, than the, the uh, one from Restored by Polish, so I don't think we'll compare those, because you can just tell instantly they're different. This one is more, got more of like an orangey, like reddish tone, and this one is more just like straight orange. Um, but I did pick up this collection, and I haven't worn that one yet. Super pretty. And then the next one I have is from Red Eyed Lacquer, and this is Broken Crow. And this just came out in her New York Street Art Collection, and it's they're all just neon hollows. And I purchased that whole collection because they were all stunning, 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 stunning. And I can't wait to wear this one. Super pretty. And next up we have, let's see, my polishes are falling down, sorry. Next up we have one from uh, Mooncat, which is acidic, and this is just like, I think they just described this as a light like pastel orange cream. I haven't worn it yet. It kind of looks like an orangey to beige color, so I'm kind of curious to see what this one looks like. I wind up buying that. I think it was called Technicolor Collection. It was just a bunch of creams. Um, I wound up getting that whole collection because I had been eyeballing it for a while, so I just wanted to get it, um, you know, and purchase it. So, next up, we have one from China Glaze, and this is orange knockout this does kind of look like that rogue here's that rogue so we'll pull these to do comparisons on more in-depth comparisons i got this one at sally's and i know the rogue is supposed to be a neon i don't think this is a neon this is just an orange cream but we will pull those and do some comparison of those next up we have um one from all mixed up lacquer and this is well butter my butt and I know people are probably saying this is yellow but it's kind of like a yellow with an orangey tint it definitely is coming off yellow in camera but I remember when I swatched it it kind of had like an orangey tint and I have more room in my orange drawer than my yellow drawer so it kind of found its home there um, it could possibly move to yellow once I wear it but I remember I really like this so I'm excited to wear that one I got that one in a mystery box and then the next polish I have up is from Poetry Cowgirl, and this is Heat Wave. And this was described as a mango cream hollow, um, a neon mango. I just remember I got this in polish pickup of Rewind in 2023. Um, so July 2023, this is the color they brought back. And it's very bright, and it's kind of different because it's kind of like an orange, but it's kind of like a yellow at the same time. It's a mango. So I'm curious to see um, how that one looks on the nails. And then next up, I have a China Glaze, and this is Sweeter Than Sugar. And I believe this was their cantaloupe color. Um, I think it's more pinkish to me looking at it, but I believe they described it as pinkish, and it's kind of got like an a pinkish to orangish, orangish lean. So like I said, I have more room in my orange than I do my pink. So that's why he wound up finding his way here, his home here. And I'm curious to see what he looks like. Um, I'm going to pull him because the next polish I have is from Morgan Taylor in their Clueless. And this is Driving in Platforms. And this is kind of like 
a very similar like pinkish to orangish cream so i want to pull this one so we can see how similar they are i wound up getting the clueless collection off of amazon because i was you know super excited over um the formula of the the formula of the morgan taylor polishes when i tried them so next up we have one from Orly and this is Connect the Dots and I got this in summer, I think it was summer 2022 color pass box and it's just a really, it's kind of like more of a coral. It kind of could go, um, you know, in my pink, I don't have a coral drawer, so it could go in my coral drawer, <laughs> coral drawer, I don't have a coral drawer, so it could go into my pink drawer or my orange drawer, but I wind up putting it in my orange because, like I said, I have more room in my orange, but super pretty, and I know the formula is great, so I'm super excited to try that one. And then next up, we have one from Lynn B. Designs, and this is Fly, and I believe this came out in her stickers number one collection, stickers part one. Um, I wind up getting that whole collection and it's just a bright orange with like flakies in there of different colors. So I'm super curious to see what that one will look like on the nails too. And then next up we have one, I'm trying to see if these, how similar some of these are to see if we should compare them. I think I'll pull this one and put it in the compare. This is from Night Owl Lacquer and this is Final Fire. And I bought this during a Black Friday sale and this is just a super bright, it's so pretty in the bottle. The color on camera is making it more yellowish, but in person it's more orange. Um, this is a super bright orange, super pretty. I'm gonna pull that one because I can kind of see it kind of looks like some of the other ones kind of that we've already pulled. So let's pull that one and then we can compare it to. So next up we have um, one from China Glaze, and this is Glad You've Melt Me, and this came out in their summer 2023 collection. It was like an ice cream theme collection, and it's kind of like a mango colored cream, too. I don't know. Let me see. I know on camera it's looking, well, we could do some comparisons of these two, so we'll pull both these two to compare so um i know these were the ones that people said didn't have a, a nice formula and when i swatched them i didn't mind it but i know that the two that i've worn on my nails had kind of a rough formula uh the green one i really i wind up keeping it but i think the pink one and the blue one i wind up putting in the giveaway so this one is china glaze glad you've melt me and we're going to pull that one to compare it to that static nails here's one that also kind of looks similar so maybe we'll pull this one too this is bcb lacquers and this is it's summertime and i got this from indie mixtapes in an overpour and it's kind of just like a mango yellowish cream so we're going to pull that one to see how it compares to some of those others that we have pulled and then next up, I have one from Mooncat, and this is Lucid Dream. And this is kind of like um, a peachy, pinkish. Like, this could definitely have gone in my pink drawer, but like I said, I, I have more room in my orange drawer. And it's kind of like a peachy undertone, so it wind up going into my uh, pink drawer. And here we are looking at it next to, this is... I don't know why my camera is refusing to focus today. Lucid Dreams and Acidic. So this one is more orangey and this one is more pink. I don't think I'll pull those because they are totally, um, you know, you can see that they're different in the bottles. So I don't think I'll pull those for comparisons. But um, curious to see how those look on the nails. So the next one I have up is from Red Eyed Lacquer. And this is Fro Yo Ha Chews. And this is like an orangey, uh, orangey color with kind of a red. It's got like hollow and little black flakes in it. I got this during Black Friday last year and I haven't worn it, but I know these uh, Hachu ones that she did are super cute. I don't think it really looks too much like anything we have, so we won't compare that one. Next up, I have one from Rogue Lacquer and this is Frontierland. 
Now, to me, this looks more pink, and it should be in my pink drawer, but I know she described this as kind of like a coral um, coloring, so I want to put it in my orange because, like I keep saying, I have more room in my orange than I do my pink, but this is kind of like a peachy color. Look at that. Can you see that? Those flakies. I know you can see the flakies in person. There is like an intense shimmer. I'm not sure if it is coming off. It is definitely not coming off on camera, but it, there is like an intense shimmery glow that is like just stunning. I don't know why today my camera does not want to pick up anything, but that one is really pretty. Um, I've worn a few from that collection because it was like a four piece collection. I wound up purchasing the whole collection. They've all been beautiful, all four that I've worn so far. The next up I have is from uh, Moon Cat, and this is Magic Mushroom. And this was in that Technicolor line. And it is um, basically an orange jelly with like these, I think they're, well, they look multicolor, holographic in the light. Uh, flakies in there super super pretty I might pull that one even though it's a different formula it kind of matches these colors that we've pulled so we'll pull that one and we'll look at it I'm trying to decide which ones we pull okay the next up I have one from different dimension and this is don't glow there and this is just basically in bright orange cream um, it does glow in the dark but it's a bright orange cream we're going to pull that one to do some comparisons of because it kind of looks similar to some of the other ones but very pretty i don't know why i pulled this one because i don't think this one looks very similar okay so next up i have one from china glaze whoops and this is gimme sugar and this is described as their, this, one of these, I don't know, one of these was a cantaloupe orange and one of them wasn't, but they're very different. This one's lighter and this one's darker. So I don't think I'll pull all these, but these came out in their spring 2023 collection and it was a really nice collection. Super nice, but I haven't worn those two colors yet. And then next up we have one from Boo Bird and or bluebird it's actually bluebird but in the the advent she puts it as bluebird and makes it into a little bat and this is witchful thinking and this is just a really pretty orange with hollow i haven't worn it yet so i'm not sure oh my gosh it's got a glow to it too um i'm not sure if this is going to be my favorite type of orange but um it's definitely different than anything we've pulled, so I'm not going to compare it, but we'll have to, I'll have to wear it and see how it goes. Okay, and then here's another one for Brogue Lacquer, and this is Hot and Bothered, and I'm going to pull this one. This was in her, ooh, okay, I might pull this Righteous Orange one from Restored by Polish back out, and we'll look at this one too, because on camera, they're looking very similar, but, um, the Restore by Polish is still quite a bit darker than this Rogue Lacquer. But this was one I got in her neon box. So I'm just curious to see, um, you know, do we need all these oranges in our lives? Um, I don't know. We'll have to see. So the next one I have up is from Fair Maiden. And this is Pumpkin Face. And this is their orange jelly. They called it a tinty line. I wanted picking them all up because they were super bright, super beautiful. But I haven't worn this one yet. So I'm curious to see that one on my nails. And then next up we have one from Lynn B Designs. And this is Totally Buggin'. And I believe this came from that sticker collection too. It's kind of like a mango orangey yellowish polish with flakies in it um so we're going to pull that one to do some comparisons because it kind of looks like some of these other ones that we've got going on over here and then next up i have one from geekish glitter lacquer and this is what a brilliant nose you have and this is one that i got in a mystery and i don't know i might put this one in my try area i'm let me see. I don't think it's like quite a bit like anything that we have over here to compare, but I'm going to put this one in my try area 
to make a decision whether I keep this one or not. And this is, you know, Geeky Glitter Lacquer. What a brilliant nose you have. It's really pretty, but if it comes off pumpkin-y, I'm not going to like it. So I'm going to move that one. I have like a little try area that I'm putting the ones that I'm not sure about. And next up, we have one from um, BCB Lacquers. And this is All Right, All Right, All Right. And this came out in an advent, I think. And it's a bright orange with, look at these flakies. I mean, just look at that. Just look at that. These silvery flakies and these black flakies. This looks stunning and I can't wait to wear that. I just haven't um, gotten around to it, but I'm super excited to wear that one. And then next up, we have another one from Mooncat. And this is Hermit Crab. And this is like an orange. What collection did this come out? Uh, the Mermaid Collection, I think. Something like that. Mermaid Tales or something. I wound up picking up that whole collection. But this is like an orange with uh, flakies in it. I wonder how close it looks to this Strangleberry. So the Strangleberry is definitely more pink. And this one is more orange. I don't think we'll compare those because they're quite a bit different when you look at them. So I don't think I'll compare those two. But this was in that collection and I haven't worn it yet. So... I'm excited to wear it. And then the last polish in my orange collection is this one from Scofflaw. And this is Central Perk Couch. And this is kind of like an orangey, yellow, mango-y color with all these glitters in it. I don't think I'll compare it because it's totally different than everything else we have going over here. But it's very pretty. So those are all that are in my orange collection or fall close enough to be in my orange collection comment down below and let me know if you like orange polish and if you do what your favorite orange polish is because i'm curious to see it and i would love to go look it up um just to see what type of oranges everyone's into if you like nail content video like this please consider subscribing to my channel because this is pretty much my whole channel and i also do monthly giveaways of nail polish to subscribers i hope everyone has a great day remember keep polishing bye